Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, June 11th, 2021 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I listen and respond to my personal nurturing needs. So today we are coming off the eclipse energies. So we have some unwinding, some learning to do. I said this in yesterday's scope, but it bears repeating Eclipses come and they kind of give us like downloads and like kind of set the course. And so now we're going to unpack those downloads, start unpacking those, start working towards those um, and uh, moving in the direction of change. Do I have the change card? Oh, I do. I do have the change card. <laughs> moving in the direction of change set forth by these eclipses. The nice like who is that we are out of eclipse corridor energy. That being said, it's 2021, so there's more lessons for us. <laughs> um, the biggest thing today to be aware of is Mars is shifting signs. Mars is moving out of the sign of Cancer, releasing us from any of those really strong emotional urges that we were feeling and moving into the sign of Leo. Now, first thing of note, when Mars shifts signs, starts off at zero degrees and zero degrees is always kind of like wonky no man's land now especially if you are very uh activated by mars you may feel a little extra tired <laughs> in and through this energy and so that plus the moon moving into cancer plus coming off these eclipses this is a really good day to listen and respond to your nurturing needs personal nurturing needs show up for yourself so let's dig in to this mars energy to start mars in leo now with every every sign every planet there are pros and cons <laughs> there is good energy and then there's the challenges so i'm actually going to start with the challenges of mars in leo uh, leo is a fire sign so mars and leo can be a very fiery energy now this fire can be used positively, creatively, activatingly towards heartfelt purpose. However, Leo can also be a place where we find our ego activated. So with Mars and Leo, we may find our buttons pushed <laughs> through ego activations. Now, if you are having ego activations come up with Mars in Leo, chances are this is rooted in your inner child. Leo is the sign of the inner child. So if you're noticing that your ego is like out of bounds, <laughs> like going kind of crazy, this is a really good time. Check in with yourself. Apply that nurturing to that part of yourself. Um, speaking of Mars energy, Mars energy is passionate it is aggressive, it is reactive, uh, and this can all, again, good or bad, I don't know, <laughs> but watch for reactions coming from these ego activations that may be happening for you. If you are feeling overreactive, check in with your ego and follow that down deeper into checking with your inner child. Also check in with frustrations. Le uh, Mars energy can also be activated by frustration energy. Mars just wants like the go-ahead to do what it wants. Mars just wants to act on the passions. And so the frustrations often come when there's blocks. And so um, if you are feeling blocked, our usual gut response is like, yeah, something outside is blocking me. I feel frustrated because this thing is blocking me. And it's always good to, again, check within when it comes to being blocked because maybe it is like spirit and it's because it's something, you know, a highest good situation. Or maybe that it's something in you. And again, going back to that inner child or heart energy. So that being said, Mars in Leo can strongly activate beautiful inner child energy, um, fun energy games, creativity, you may find yourself just wanting to paint and draw and dance and express yourself. Think Madonna. <laughs> um, as Leo is that energy of expressing yourself through your creativity. So Mars will also activate that energy within you. One of the things I love about this Mars transit in particular is we actually are going to have Mars and Venus meeting up in the sign of Leo. So this is going to be 
overall very good for true love love affairs <laughs> um, connecting on that yin and yang level uh, but watch yourself watch yourself <laughs> for the time being because Mars and Leo can be very impulsive and act on desire desire of being seen desire to be adored and not necessarily always act from that too place of true love so again check in with your heart uh, with a lot with this transit of Mars moving through Leo that's one other thing that I want to bring up <laughs> Leo energy can also be quite dramatic uh, so with Mars and Leo we may find ourselves taking little bitty things and making them gigantic mountains mountains out of molehills um, dramatic style and it may just be even for the whole expression of it i really love leo energy to be fair so <laughs> the drama can be fun but again it can be very tiring for others and it can also exhaust us um so notice it's just an important thing to notice through this transit so i think i'm going to leave that here for now but as we move through we will continue to unpack Mars in Leo more that being said moon will be shifting into cancer I also love this um, just in this energy like I said cancer is nurturing energy and today's your day like after these eclipses take it easy nurture be good to yourself the moon will actually shift at 12 22 a.m. Pacific time. I love that. 222 is like trust and faith. So it's trust and faith in the universe's process, in your place in the universe's process. The moon will be making all of the connections through the day. It is going to connect with Jupiter, a trine with Jupiter still in Pisces, um, and conjunct Venus. So it's like actually a really good astro day overall. The thing with the moon and Venus. Um, especially if you are having any sensitivity coming up or maybe inner child activations coming up. Um, Venus can represent worth stuff at times. So with the moon coming on onto Venus, and it's at 11 degrees, so that's a master level energy, you may have to attend to some worth stuff. Again, go into the inner child. I feel like the inner child is such a key player in some of these energies incoming. Speaking of worth stuff, we do have some bigger worth, money, purpose lessons incoming. So you may find shades of those energies showing up for you. Keep trusting in your inherent worth in the universe. And that may be where there's some nurturing and work to be done. That moon trine, uh, Jupiter energy and Pisces, really good, beautiful, strong intuition day. And again, Jupiter and Pisces is also heightening our creativity. So even though Mars isn't necessarily ready to like dive in and act, you may have some beautiful creativity ideas flooding in for you. So speaking of this, we have the awareness card, which is the chariot card. So we are ready to like move forward, peel through these eclipse energies. Um, work deeper into the change energy that is up for us. This is the Wheel of Fortune card and it is upright. So good things incoming. Trust in that. Good things incoming. Here's the world card, the completion. Pieces falling into place. If things have been a little like, what's going to happen? Here we have pieces falling into place, but we're reminded slow and steady wins the race. Slowing down card. Like I said, take it easy. It doesn't have to all be done today. Sometimes we tend to rush ourselves as humans and there is no rush. I do have the flowering card in reverse and I feel like this is like what is to come with this Mars and Leo energy uh, and even like the building. It's going to be a little bit, but the building of Venus and Mars coming together, this beautiful flower and things coming into fruition. Don't panic if it doesn't happen yet. The stars and cards are like, it's going to happen. So <laughs> take it easy. Don't worry if these if your flowers aren't growing, your seeds haven't sprouted yet. The eclipse was yesterday. Give it time. That being said, I also just want to mention that the sun and Mercury will still be like hanging out around each other. And so there may be some strong mental energy still coming out. Listen to what's coming up. Do your best to like ground in. I'm kind of seeing that with that card too, that flowering card. Ground in, sink your roots in. So I'm going to leave that here for today. Uh, expect, I believe I'm going to be making my announcement about the feelings class 
on Monday. So watch for that coming in. Some more fun things coming in on Monday. I'm excited for, I'm excited for the summer. Um, so you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.